So we are here with Cornwell dealer Kevin Baker in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Kevin, why don't you uh, give us an idea of what we're looking at on your truck here. First of all, what sure kind of will. truck is it? This is a GMC C5500 07. It's got a 6.6 Duramax in it. Okay. And I've got it laid out with all my inventory. I've got some diagnostic uh, equipment or some testing equipment, I guess I should say, on the uh, top shelf on, on this side here. For checking all your fuel pressure and uh, exhaust back pressure, uh, got some gauges for checking AC, refilling AC systems, got some air tools hanging on the ceiling above them. Okay, nice big Cornwell toolbox here. Yes, I do have a 58 inch custom series Cornwell toolbox. What is that? That's a needle scaler. It's used scale. in uh, welding and fabrication shops a lot of times. Instead of uh, chiseling off all the slag off of a long weld with a little hammer, you can use that thing, put some needles in it, and blow right across it real quick. And so it's an air tool, like a, like an impact? It's like an air hammer with like a bunch of needles hammer. at the end. Yeah, okay. knock, knock scale or rust off with. Okay. And I've got some other stuff, some uh, cordless tools. That I sell a good many of. A lot of uh, torque wrenches, uh, got some lighting equipment. LED lights are always important to uh, technicians these days. They need to be able to see. Lots of blue. I see lots of sets here. Your customers must, uh, it looks to me like it's easier for your customers to see everything you have on your truck. I try to keep it laid out as best I can, open some boxes up. Let them check out the extractor sets and the, uh -huh. uh, the Torx and hex pit sets. I sell a lot of those. Is there a uh, little something for... Uh, oh yeah, if you get the munchies, you can come out to the truck and get some beef jerky. A little something for everybody. Is there a, a particular customer you have? We're in, uh, we're in a part of Pennsylvania that has a lot of gas drilling going on. Are they... Uh, a major part of your business? Uh, they are a major part of my business. It's uh, We're in the Marcellus Shale area and uh, there's a lot of new companies starting up and uh, a lot of trucks come to town and the uh, mechanics and technicians need the tools to repair these trucks and, and equipment. So I see a fair assortment of uh, heavy duty stuff down the bottom here. You even got some three-quarter drive I do try to keep some three-quarter drive stuff on here, uh, the torque wrenches, uh, some sockets, and, uh, and ratchets and things that the guys need for the heavier equipment, as well as some bigger pullers. Okay. And I keep an assortment of uh, smaller automotive pullers as well. And speaking of automotive, I see you have a pretty fair collection of uh, yeah, fuel diagnostic pressure testers. Equipment. I do yeah. have some diagnostic equipment on the truck all the time. I sell a lot of power probes and uh, you really? okay. meters, tools for testing electrical systems. Kevin, this is nice. What what doesn't show in the video, unfortunately, is it may look a little tight, but uh, really this truck is pretty roomy. It's uh, when you first climb on, it doesn't seem like a big truck from the outside, but inside it feels a lot more spacious. So. Uh, and even in the yucky weather in this uh, on this rainy day, and having been in some uh, truck garages that have big muddy yards, Kevin's managed to keep the truck pretty clean today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a task keeping the truck clean. Kevin, thank you very much for a good day. Thank you very much.